Right, here we are back in Muggins' garage. Uh, we're doing a little garage hammer today. It's a beautiful night. We decided to uh, get the families together. The kids are inside watching the Lego movie. Awesome, if you haven't seen it. Um, and the three of us are going to be out here playing some 40K. Man. Yeah, the guys are out here. Well, Charlie's a man. Almost. He's a baby. <laughs> He's a baby. We're going we're gonna to go over some of the army lists, though. We've decided we're going to actually break out uh, the new Planet Strike rules from the Red Wa. Um, largely. If you if you played the old version of Planet Strike, uh, they're very similar. Just a, uh, the addition of a new, a new detachment, uh, warlord traits, different stratagems. Uh, the missions are tweaked slightly. Uh, your your fortifications are no longer the objectives. You actually place objectives on the table. Um, one of the things I noticed though was that there's only one mission for Planet Strike in this book, which to me suggests that they might be uh, including more in future. Uh, uh, I don't want to call these supplements. I guess we're going to call them campaign books um, or White Dwarf for that matter, which is cool. I like that. We, we like the more content that the, that GW produces, the, the better this game is. So let's go over what we got here. Um, Oscar and I are each playing a, uh, a Planet Strike detachment. The, uh, the only required model or the only required unit to make a Planet Strike detachment is an HQ. Uh, things are very different, but suffice it to say, we both have Planet Strike detachments, but we are going to call Oscar's detachment the primary one, so he has the Warlord. Uh, I have a Farseer on a jet bike with the Celestial Lance and the Wraith Forge Stone, and she is surrounded by four Warlocks. Uh, they all have Singing Spears. I have two squads of five Wraith Guard with Cannons, and five Wraith, Gu Wraith Guard with D Scythes, and two Wraith Knights, one with uh, double D Cannons, and one with a Sun Cannon, Shield, and two Scatter Lasers. Um... Jump Monsters creatures can deep strike, so just like the old version of Planet Strike, they will be able to assault when they do. Everything else in my army can deep strike. Uh, I still have to roll for my psychic, though. So. Moving around here to see what Oscar's got. We have Gazgal, a squad of nine boys and a, a knob with a power claw. Uh, Gazgal's Warlord trait gave us an additional Firestorm Barrage. Um, we'll talk more about the, the, the stratagems in a bit. They're all going to be riding in that looted wagon, coming on from reserve. Six knobs right here are going to be riding in that looted wagon. They all have sluggers and choppas. I want to show these guys off real quick because aside from the one all the way in the back on the right, Oscar painted all of these himself. It's not bad for a seven-year-old. The only thing I did for him was uh, prime them and uh, seal them because I didn't want him around the fumes. So we are all super, super, super proud of him uh, upstaging a lot of the other local 40K guys. Uh, we have another looted wagon in the back that they're going to be riding in. A squad of 15 biker boys with the knob and power claw and boss pole. Along with a war boss with uh, power claw, boss pole. Um, he's got the, uh, the the special war bike. I can't remember which what, what it's called. Uh, but it's got the strength 6 AP 3 shots instead of the strength 5 AP 5. Uh, a pair of def copters with rockets. 10 storm boys with zagstruck. A uh, daca jet with the extra cannon. Uh, and... Finished one of the uh, the mech guns as well. It's got uh, two extra grots, the uh, the ammo grunt, and uh, this is going to be the custom Mega Blaster one because that's what Oscar wanted to, to try out first. As far as uh, Planet Strikes, um, uh, the stratagems, we took the one that uh, that upgrades our uh, Firestorm barrages to Strength 10 AP2. Uh, we have D3 plus three of them now, and we also have uh, a very handy one point stratagem that allows us to re-roll the die to see if the game ends. Um, both sides actually get, have that one available to them, so that could be pretty handy. We're going to take a look at the table Mike set up and uh, go over what he has in just a second. Really quickly, I did roll my psychic powers. Uh, I rolled Fortune, Doom, and Mind War for my Farseer, and of course she has Guide for free. Uh, and then I have Embolden, Protect, Empower, and Quicken on the, the Warlocks, and they all have conceal as well. So we're going to go take a look at Mike's army now, and then uh, he's rolling for his powers as we speak. Alright, here we have a bigger shot of the table. Uh, we've got lots of the, the awesome aquarium jungle terrain over here. Uh, river in the middle. Mike wanted to make things very difficult for us to actually get across the table. But that's what Planet Strike is about. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, we have the Mall, wall, the mall of Warders. The Wall of Martyrs set up around the, uh, the, the Ring of the Bastions. Uh, just two fortifications today. That's just a scenery piece. Um, lots and lots of armor. We've got a Predator here, a Predator there, uh, another one up front here, all Daca Preds. We've got Vindicator here, Hunter here, Rhinos with troops in it there. Uh, is it a Contemptor or just a regular Dread? Just a regular. Regular Dread, Missile Launcher, Multi-Melta? 
Uh, just a multi melter. Just a multi melter. Squad of Terminators with a librarian right here. Yep. Another squad of Terminators right there. Some scouts right here. Tactical Marines up in the uh, the first bunker here, and a squad of Grav Centurions right there. We know where they're going to be shooting. Oh, oh, Librarian's moving. He's, he's jumping up in there. That's all right. Okay, uh, and in reserve. Oh, yeah, this isn't the full 3,000 points, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so the story behind this, the narrative that we are forging, Oscar and Josh and myself, is that uh, this is the Wrath planet, the planet of Wrath that we had fought over earlier. Yeah, what, our first, the, the first campaign that kind of brought us all together was like four years ago, something yeah, like that. Yeah, the Mantis warriors um, have established their outpost here, and the Eldar and Orcs are coming in to take these supplies that are right here. Some valuable Prometheum and um, something else in these boxes. <laughs> something in the boxes. And so the librarian, uh, Magarius, is <laughs> holding out, waiting for reinforcements that are, that are over there that are led by Chapter Master uh, Carleso Khan on Let's his Let's go bike. take a look. Yep, these are all in reserve and coming on. We've got a Chapter Master with uh, Relic Blade and uh, Eternal War, the Shield Eternal. Bike squad with attack bike, bike squad with attack bike, bike squad with attack bike, and a land speeder with missiles. Yuck. Yeah, the land speeder is that forge roll, yep. of course, yep. heresy one, and those are beautiful. And that's it. Uh, what'd you get for your powers? You, you used all divination, you got... Yes, so I got um, foreboding and perfect timing. Okay. Uh, perfect timing allows you to ignore cover. Foreboding allows you to overwatch on your full ballistic skill. That's the, both of those are sweet. Um, and power of prescience, which yep. allows you to reroll misses. And as far as warlord trait, um, you re you rerolled the one that they gave you. Everybody stubborn within twelve inches. And what did you get instead? We can't um, remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was that one that does that thing. Um. Gosh. We can't remember. We'll, we'll get back to it later. It's in there. It's uh, as far as stratagems, though, um, this is where it's going to hurt us. Because Oscar and I went big, so uh, we, we, we're going to try to smash things apart with a firestorm. But Mike is going to make it very difficult for our deep striking units to get on the table because he has jammers. And what was the other one? The other one was a 5-plus cover save. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so his, his models are going to get a 5-up cover save from our firestorm attack, which is going to be very handy. Which helps because, um, you know, the wall and the bastion and things will help. But if the barrage... Hole yep. lands right inside your terrain, then you get no cover from yeah, it. Yeah, then you get no cover. Yep. So if I dropped, if I dropped a barrage right here in the middle of those scouts, they would get no cover from that wall. So they just have. Do they have camo cloaks? Yes. Yeah, they'll say they get their camo cloaks, but they also now get a five up cover safe from uh, this stratagem. So we're gonna get started very shortly here. I'm gonna get myself a drink because uh, it's kind of warm outside, and uh, we'll be on. We're gonna show you. After uh, the firestorm first. All right, Mike's uh, five-up cover save saved him big time in the firestorm. The net result is one dead Terminator and a glance Predator. Um, we dropped four of them right here in the the, the, the Hunter and the Rhino, uh, trying to blow that up so that, that we would have no anti-air. Uh, Oscar was really obsessed about losing his Dacajet. But hey, it was probably a good spot too, so if it scattered anywhere, it was likely to hit something. Um, they did scatter, but... Because Mike played the stratagem that gave him a five-up cover save, he made four cover saves on the tanks, uh, failed the one on the uh, the Predator, lost the Terminator, and then, so we decided to try to drop the last one on the Bastion full of Centurions, and it scattered way off to the side and did nothing. So we're going to start our turn one and uh, get all of our units either deep striking in or walking on the table. I'm going to start top of turn one just showing you what is left in reserve we rolled terribly um we used the uh the detachment rule um from uh, planet strike to make the bikers automatically come in so we didn't have to roll for them and it's a good thing we did because they probably would have stayed off the table um Gasgall and his boys are in there looted wagon they're on the table everything else is off uh all of my both my wraith knights and Two of my Wraith Guard units are off the table. This, these guys mishapped. I tried to, to park them in the middle of the formation, and they flew off the table, thanks to Mike's jammers. Um, what I did get in, though, my Seer Council landed right over here, and uh, they did scatter back this way a bit, but it was fine. They threw all their spears at the uh, tank over here. Only managed to glance it once because Mike can't not make cover saves today for some reason. It's, uh, it's crazy. The Daka Jet flew on, shot the other Predator, took another hull point off it. So he's down to a single one. That one has two left. Everything else uh, running, flat out turbo boosting. We're just getting everything on the table quick, and uh, 
That's all we got. So we're gonna get we're gonna get hurt coming back in return. The bottom of turn one went pretty much the same as the top of turn one, um, except a lot less moving. Uh, Mike managed to get off uh, prescience and um, forewarning. Perfect on, timing. Perfect timing. Excuse me. Perfect timing on the centurions, but they were out of range, so they get to ignore cover. Uh, and their With warlord also has interceptor, which is handy, but we're way out of his range for just about everything. Um, that was kind of the advantage of coming in on that table edge, which we didn't have to do. We realized that in this turn that we could have come on any table edge we wanted, and Mike gets the other as his edge. So um, we kind of let the, Mike's deployment choose the table edge for us. But hey, that's why we're playing the rules now, so we, we don't screw up for the uh, campaign that we're running in a couple weeks. Uh, I lost one warlock. My warlock with... Uh, um, I can't remember which what power it was. Empowering? Enhan uh, empowerment, yeah, empower. Uh, so no big deal there because they all have flesh main weapons. Um, and that's about it. Everything else... Oh, and a whole point off the Dakajet, who is jinking. But that's it. Nothing else happened. Uh, so we're going to move now into turn two and try to get the rest of our stuff on the table. Yeah. Turn two for us was a little bit better. Our def Geft Coptas outflanked, came in over here, away from uh, the... Uh, Interceptor fire from the Centurions and uh, blew off one of the heavy bolter sponsons and took off a hull point from that predator. The uh, Seer Council jumped over the wall here, blew up that predator with singing spears, and then jumped back over the wall to give themselves cover. They did did, uh, did manage to get conceal up, which is going to be very handy, but not fortune. So two ups, two up cover saves are uh, what I'm going to be hoping to get. The Dakajet and the Bikers both shot at the Terminators and killed three of them, uh, so they're going to have to regroup together. They did pass their leadership check. Uh, meanwhile, the Custom Mega Cannon came forward. The first uh, looted wagon shot at the scouts, scattered off, and only hit a couple of them. They made their cover saves, and the other one's up on the hill. Uh, and as you can see, the reserve table is still loaded with Eldar. Both Wraith Knights, both other squads of Wraith Guard, and Zagstruck and his boys decided they still don't want to come on. So we are rolling really poor for reserves. Mike's going to come on next. Uh, he's going to get one of his squ uh, bike squads in automatically from the detachment ability. And he's going to roll for the rest. Turn two. Bottom of turn two was pretty brutal. Um, the two tactical squads, one, one jumped out of the Rhino here and the other one in the Bastion, uh, combined to kill two more of my Warlocks. So it's just my Farseer left here. She's all by her lonesome. Uh, the Defcoptus took a wound from the Predator. Mike got all three of his bike squads in. The only thing he did not get in was his land speeder. Uh, this one shook Gazgal's looted wagon. The squad back there managed to wreck the, the Knob's looted wagon. They popped out. The bikers took a beating. There's only two bikers, the Knob with one wound, and the war boss with two wounds left from that entire squad. And that's because that biker squad... Uh, the Predators, the Vindicator, the uh, Centurions, the Terminators, everything unloaded on him. The uh, Hunter hit again with his missile, and uh, we, we took the hit, but again, it only managed to shake the Defcot or the Dakajet, uh, and it, is, it, it jinked another potential wrecking glance wound. Um, that's it. We're going to see if we can get finally some of our Eldar in and uh, do some more damage. That was a long turn, but a lot happened. Um, all the rest of our reserves came in. Both Wraith Knights jumped on. This one shot its heavy D cannons and blew up that Predator. This one killed a bunch of the bikers over here. Gazgol and his boys jumped out and killed the rest of the bikers and drove off the uh, Chapter Master. Uh, Gazgol and, and the Chapter Master fought in a challenge. And the Chapter Master... And they both actually kind of just slapped at each other. The Master failed to wound Gaz and the, then made two involved saves against his Power Claw. Um, Gazgol did use his WA, which... Proved to be very effective. The uh, Storm Boys deep struck in right there and then assaulted the Terminators, killing three of them. The Bikers and the Dakajet combined to shoot at the bikes over here and then charged in, killed all but three of them, so, and they are ru running. Uh, the Knobs jumped out of the, uh, the wreckage right here, assaulted the bikes here, killed one, won the combat, but they held. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, the, uh, the uh, D Scythe armed Wraith Guard. Tried to deep strike into the middle to, to clear out that, that hole. And then they got intercepted with the uh, the Centurions up there who were sitting next to Mike's librarian. Uh, and as part of his chapter tactics, it gave them Interceptor. It was nuts. Chapter Warlord trait. Oh, the Warlord trait, yeah. It gave him Interceptor. Yep. Uh, anyway, those guys died. Then um, my Farseer came around the corner and mine ward his librarian. I roll a six, Mike rolls a one, and... No more librarian. I get the warlord points there. 
the Def Copta and the Librarian then combined to, uh, Farseer, excuse me, combined to, to blow up the Hunter. Uh, I had to charge with the Farseer. Uh, and that's about it. So we're looking at the bottom of turn three right now with a land speeder left to come in and a whole lot of mess going on. Bottom of turn three, the uh, Marines uh, uh, in both towers shot at the, the Def Coptas mostly. Um, I'm going to start, actually, let me rewind. I had a ridiculously good round of saves, which Orc players don't get to say that much. But uh, thanks to jinking from the bikes and uh, armor saves over here against bolters, uh, I only lost one Def Copta. That one took a wound. Farseer is okay. Uh, I lost one more of the bikes, and the war boss took another wound, but they're okay. Uh, Gazgal scattered, or uh, the uh, chapter master scattered his orbital bombardment way off. They're okay. He tanked all the sniper shots. Uh, the land speeder came in behind the Wraith Knight and failed to do anything. These bikers ra uh, managed to kill off the knob squad, though. Uh, Power Fist Sergeant did uh, two wounds to their the uh, knob boss and spilled him over with his power, strength eight power uh, fist insta killing and that's it so we're going to move into turn four things are going pretty well for us right now uh, it was a really good turn uh, the wraith knights kind of switched spots this one jumped over here and wiped out all but one biker there's one left but um, we're only going to have time to play the bottom of turn four out so we just took them off the table and that wraith knight's not going to be able to do anything uh, this one tried to kill the, the Vindicator, failed. The Wraith Guard ran up. Uh, the, the Met Gun shot at the Land Speeder, and it jinked it. Over here, Gazgal and his boys failed to get into combat with the Chapter Master. Uh, 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 Zagstruck killed the last Terminator. Actually, the boys killed the last Terminator, and the Dreadnought failed to do anything. The Devcopter charged in there and hit the, the back of the Predator three times and did two glances to it pretty good. I broke the last Biker over here with shooting from them so they couldn't attack. Uh, so they were out of combat, and the Farseer, uh, Mind Ward, the Sergeant, uh, and then charged in there, killed another Marine, won the combat, but the Marines held, and they're fine. Uh, she took a wound from Overwatch shot. Other than that, we're going to move on to the bottom of four. All right, it's the bottom of four. We're going to call it because it's getting late and kids are getting cranky. Uh, Land Speeder had, would jink the last turn, so it shot at the uh, Wraith Knight and missed its snap fires. Uh, that biker died. That biker shot and killed one of the orc bikers, but they made their leadership check. The Centurions and the Vindicator killed the Wraith Guard that were in the middle there. Uh, the Dreadnought managed to kill one of the Storm Boys, and then they failed their leadership check. I rolled a five on the, uh, the mob rule table, and because they didn't have ten guys, they were wiped out. They lost their leadership check and were swept. They were, again, the uh, Chapter Master wanted to stay away from Gazgal. Not a bad idea. He's only got an AP3 weapon to Gazagal's AP uh, to Armor 2. Uh, these guys didn't shoot at anything. We kind they of did. Oh, they, did they? Yeah, they shot at Oh, Gazgall. they shot at Gaz. They okay. They didn't do anything. Uh, and this combat completely whiffed on everything. <laughs> My Farseer's uh, Celestial Lance is useless in the second turn, and they failed to wound her yeah, at all. Yeah, they did terrible. So we're packing up. Uh, we're not even going to uh, calculate points, really, at this point. Um, it's, it's been a slugfest. The new Planet Strike rules are nice. Uh, they have some nice uh, twists to them, and it's a nice, refreshing update from the the original rules, which is always one of my favorite expansions. Um, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. I think 1,500 points probably would have been better because it takes a while. Yeah, we played 3,000 points. It was just too long, especially when we had the, the rest of the kids in the house going nuts. So it's getting late for everybody, and we're going to call it a night. Thanks for watching.